my uh, primary uh, care physician, she was amazing. She has referred me to every specialist you can think of. And so at this point, it's good to know like what's wrong so I can, I can treat it with therapy, medication, whatever it may be. Um, it's not easy. I do take a lot of medications now that I don't like taking, but they have made a difference. Um, and looking forward, I still stay positive, but it's still scary because I don't know I, two years later and who thought that I would still be dealing with the after effects of COVID. So I'm just continue to fight, continue to try to stay positive and just advocating for people with long COVID. There's so many of us and there's so many people who don't even know that they have it. How has it changed your life? It has changed everything. I My identity has always been in working with families and children. And so to abruptly stop something that I love so much was devastating. But I found different ways to try to um, comfort that. Like my daughter is in pre-K now, so I'm a room mom. They know I have limitations, but I can go and I can read stories and um, help with activities. And so it's nice to be able to spend time with her, but also be around other children in that classroom setting. Um, it's just been a very um, different, it's a very different process.